Hello YouTube. Today I'm doing a tear down on one of these uh, medical injectors. It comes to sealed together in a case. There's the little beep that it sounds when you're done. It's a little piezo assembly here. It's actually plastic welded together all the way around. Um, there is an inspection port in the front. As best as I can tell that's so that you can see if the needle's gone in correctly. Uh, inside there's a logic board it has an LED and it has copper or uh, yeah pads for the uh, contacts inside the machine there's not really anything on the back here's the uh, container for the dosage it actually is a pump so when you start out uh, to deliver the medicine once the uh, needle is in place this just has to be rotated and then it'll press the uh, plunger downward to dispense the medication and you can see that sits right here and here is the machine right now I've got it reset slightly as though if, if, if the needle had just been inserted when these are new uh, this piece is not here it's here and to seat the needle there's a mechanism to move this pink piece forward at this point then the needles in and uh, we want to pull it out at some point before we dispense the medicine and that's what this does so as this begins to turn this here will rotate and as soon as that lever releases the arm will retract and then this will continue to turn to deliver the medicine and uh, there is actually a uh, sensor right here you can see where these two springs are so that this thing, the computer inside of it, can tell if it's turning or not. And these are the two contacts for the buzzer. And the way it works is much like a doorbell. I broke it taking it apart, but there's actually a very thin wire right here. Runs to both sides of this pivot right here, which has an electrical contact at the top. And so, all you have to do to make this turn is to change the input on this circuit so that this swings back and forth between those two pins and you can see right there the gear will start to turn it's kinda hard to make it operate outside of its uh, conclosure but that's how it works so it takes uh, three A76 cells to run it as best as I can tell it's a single use only device it has a small microcontroller on board Thanks for watching.